Yeah, yeah. Right. Hello, everyone. Um, part four of the Let's Play. Time to see if I can do any better than I did last time. Now, I did look up a bit of a walkthrough to see if I could confirm some suspicions I had. And it turns out I was correct. I'll take you through what I was pretty certain turned out to be the case as I do it. Um, but yeah, last time, there not much to report on aside from being able to finally get out of the church after God knows how much trial and error. And looking up a walkthrough, but it turning out whoever worked originally worked out what you're meant to do with the numbers they are a god amongst men probably nothing oh it's something you're just too inbred to notice And here we go, you're familiar with this. Can't skip it. wait for them to there we go that's my Great hiding spot. Now we just have to hope. Crazy ass hicks. And here he goes. Who's there? I can hear you. <laughs> Shh. I'm a private detective. My name's Jack Walters. I'm looking for Burnham. Look, fella, I'm Burnham. What the hell is it you want? Why did you knock off the First National and the Variety Store? What? I'm the manager of First National. Why the blazes would I rob my own store? They haven't even charged me with anything. I can think of logical explanations. Look, just clear off before you get me in trouble. If Garrison spots you, he'll scream this joint down. Garrison? Yeah, Henry Garrison. He's the crazy fella in the next cell. 
whenever he throws a fit, one of Martin's mom are all over this alley like a rash. Especially tonight. They seem incredibly twitchy, much more than usual. That's probably my fault. I see your eyes at the window, hiding in the blackness. <laughs> saw your trap in there. Please, no. Something outside must have set him crazy. I suppose I'd better check it out. Now. You hear that? There we go. Now that's what I was meant to do last time. Now the question is, can I do it more than once? Probably not. The fact that they're not questioning the fact... Okay. Well, we know at least the first part to do. What was that? Probably nothing. Right. Probably nothing. <sighs> you ever get the sensation of deja vu? No, yeah, probably nothing. Yeah, it's getting to that point. Yeah, well, you do us much favor with the order. I uh, Deva. The chief's always up to nothing. Why ain't he out here with us? Well, he's a police chief. Isn't that standard for them?
Now time to get the crowbar. A crowbar? That could come in handy. See, this is the problem when you have specific points that you can save the game at. Back here would be a great hiding spot. That's crazy, and then there's that mama jammer. Who's there? I can hear you. Deep in the abyss. Why would I stand up? On the wreath of Satan it lies. Shh. I'm a private oh, detective. My name's Jack Walters. Lay. I'm looking for Deep Burnham. Lots. Look, fella, I'm Burnham. What the hell is it you want? Why did you knock off the first national? Oh. There we go. Uh, I see your eyes at the window. Hiding in the blackness. Um, did um, did um. Something outside must have set him crazy. I suppose I'd better check it out. I suppose you should, seeing as you're the cop. Let's test this. If I die again, I apologize. This is a really awkward section. did it <sighs> it won't open okay fuck it I'm checking I'm going to check 
a walkthrough. If it does crash, that'll be expected. Right. Alright, um... Duck up the ladder, the burn. Spook the madman, yeah. Right, when the cop comes out, move out from your hiding spot to hide in the dark corner next to the stairs when the Okay, so I do double stealth. Crash. We knew that was going to happen. Alright. Let's do this! I... I take... I'm not going to take any shame in the fact that I've had to look walkthroughs up for this because, for fuck's sake, it's... It's awkward as all hell. But I'm not going to do as the walkthrough suggests and kill the guy when he's back in the precinct. That's... I've already got a way of killing him. What was that? Probably nothing. Dum dum. Now, let's check what my health is like. Okay. I'm just poorly rendered because this is a game from 2005. Weirded out by it's that locked. I can't go that way. Well, let's see if I can skip this bit. You got anything to report? Nope. We should be out there, Nathan. Helping with the hood. You have your order for the same with the sacrifice. They'll yield us much favor with the order. I am David. The chief's always up to napping. Why ain't he out here with us? His time draws nigh. The margin can't strategize properly no more. He'll take the water. Then it'll be me taking the drive around here, and things will be dark different. Now get inside, and mind that you don't forget to bolt the door. Wait, wait, wait. Great hiding spot. Oh, 
Who's there? I can hear you. Skip. I see your eyes at the window, hiding in the blackness. <laughs> dum -da -dum -da -dum. I suppose I'd better check it out. Shotgun at last. All right, so I need to check controls, controller options, key configuration, uh, aim, Do I shoot them now or do I wait? 
They've all got shotguns. you Jack and the order shows no mercy out, out, deep in your face why on it lay layer of the deep ones oh that's handy Why do I half expect a deep one to suddenly appear? This toilet hasn't been cleaned in... ever! feel obliged the sink has been blocked up leaving it full of scummy water I'm not touching it <laughs> <laughs> oh wow lines I did not expect the bath is encrusted with filth and there appears to be shreds of skin. After those sleeves, I could sure use a bath, but getting in there won't make me any cleaner. <laughs> You'd probably be cleaner in the sewers. It's encrusted with something, and it smells terrible. is encrusted with filth and there appears to be shreds of skin it won't open hmm There's nothing of interest in the wardrobe. Am I gonna have to... There's nothing of interest in the wardrobe. The sink is grimy, and there are traces of some sort of discolored membrane. The keys to the cells. Now I can free Brian. I do that. It won't open. Mm. Worth a try. Don't stop looking. He's hiding somewhere. Fine. Ooh, I've got twenty. Crazy. I don't think it would be the sharpest plan to let him out. I'm 
not going anywhere until I know I can trust you. Never. Not really? Abominations. Oh, fuck's sake. It's unlocked. <laughs> this doll. It must be Ramona's. It's Thomas Waits. <laughs> Ramona's death so must have driven him to cutting his own throat. Anyone else surprised? According to this, there have been many arrests lately, but no charges listed. According to this, there have been many arrests lately, but no charges listed. I don't need to go at the moment. <laughs> Budge. There's nothing of interest in the wardrobe. Wasn't looking at the wardrobe, you buck. The fire is barely enough to keep out the freezing cold winds. <sighs> I'm gonna have to have a firefight, aren't I? Okay. Check behind there. Right. They didn't hear the they didn't hear the gunshot of the yeah of the 12 gauge I didn't hear the 12 gauge gunshot anywhere till I know I can trust you. Dude, at the moment I'm the only one you can trust. A rap sheet for Brian Burnham. No charges. What is he listed. really doing in Smith Jack? It's unlocked. This cell looks like it suffered some kind of fire damage many years ago. An old ship's log. Marked with the name Obed Marsh. Quit bothering me, would you? You're bothering me. I uh, be gone. I uh, Read the postcard, read the registry, ship's log. Still en route to China, eastward from Otaheite, or Tahiti as it is also called. We have found 
We have encountered an island that does not appear on our charts. I ordered the anchor dropped closer in shore, and we sent the longboat for fresh water and supplies. The islanders have, are not interested in trading for gold, of which they have apparently a great quantity. I asked after its source in the hope of setting up a mining and milling operation on shore. In response to my questioning, it w I was taken to a smaller island nearby and shown some stone ruins, apparently of great antiquity. The designs carved upon them are like nothing I have ever seen in all my travels. This, they say, is the city of the sea gods, who can be prevailed upon to give them gold for the asking. I suspect it is a remnant of a higher civilization, now lost now lost, the natives evidently find gold among the ruins. I questioned the island's chief elders at length about the ruins, and was answered with the retelling of legends so savage and fantastic that I wonder at them. Perhaps when the gold is secured and it my own fortune, I shall reveal the island's location and open it to scholarship. Yeah, because that would be a good idea. Having traded for a large quantity of gold in addition to the needed water and fresh food, we resumed our voyage. Okay, kind of contradicting what you said before. I impressed upon the crew the need for absolute silence about this island, for if word were to get out, others would be sure to be to go there. Shortly before our departure, Chief Wallakea made me a gift of several small metal discs. It's always metal discs, isn't it? Or rings or stars or some variation thereof evidently of the same workmanship as the ruins. By means of these and certain chants, he said the sea good gods would ah sea gods could be summoned and induced to bring their gifts. Revisiting the mysterious island, we could find no trace of the people with whom we had have traded for so many years. Their villages are raised to the ground I've always wondered about that term. And no trace can be found of them. It appears that some other tribe has attacked and destroyed them. The men are, so, are much dismayed and we shall no longer be able to obtain gold here unless we discover its source for ourselves. A day's searching among the ruins availed us nothing, although certain of the crewmen ah, Certain of the crew were troubled by nightmares subsequently. It appears that this voyage is destined to be without profit, and we must return to Innsmouth, with both hands and pockets empty. A most troubling turn of events. The town has come to rely upon us, and the gold that we bring back to make up for, for the trade that was lost when the War of 1812 ended. Okay. What shall become of our home port now, and us along with it? While looking over the souvenirs and curiosities I collected on my Pacific voyages, seeking some comfort in happier memories, I happened upon the strange metal discs given to me by old Wallachia. Wallachia? Wallachia? I don't know. And his people. I had quite forgotten them and the stories he told about the gold-bearing gods from the sea, but now an idea is stirring within me. I do not know whether to embrace it as Innsmouth's last hope, or to concede that desperation has driven me insane. <laughs> The gold we brought from the island was real enough. Perhaps the sea gods are real also. A sailor to far port sea 
to far ports, sees many strange things, and learns to keep an open mind. Open, not spilling out onto the carpet. After much effort in recollection, I have remembered the chance Wellacare taught me. Tonight I shall row out to Devil's Reef. It's always Devil's Reef and Skull Island or Devil's Island. Now I'm just thinking to Monkey Island where it was called Skull Island but it was the shape of a duck. And try them along with the discs. Perhaps the sea gods will save us. Or if not, I shall acknowledge my folly and retire to the asylum. Later that night the sea gods are real. I have seen them and spoken with them. I carry some of their gold, a token of more to come, I am assured. But the price? Yet can any price be too high when one's home is at stake? Innsmouth shall rise again. Innsmouth rises! This is a day of crisis for Innsmouth and Innsmouth. I and those loyal to me have been seized and thrown in jail by our pious neighbours. Ready enough to enjoy the prosperity I have returned to the town, they scruple, ah, they scruple at the means I use and the power I wield. They must be taught a lesson. They have no idea of the powers they seek to defy. The terrible bargain I made was irrevocable, and by locking me up they bring great peril to the town, the very town that they would save from my influence. But it is too late for salvation. As surely as I know the morning tide will rise, I know that those from the reef will come to Innsmouth. They will come in search of those things I have been prevented from giving them, and they will come to punish those who have prevented me. Little do the righteous dream of the horror that will visit Innsmouth this night. There will be great destruction. 1846 will be recorded in the town's annals as a year of unparalleled calamity. I shall make certain that 1846 also marks the beginning of a new age, an age in which no threat to our pact is tolerated. From this year on, I shall play the tyrant and my descendants shall do so after me but we do so to avert a greater evil my key question and this been running through since the date came up is why 1846 is, did something significant happen back then I'm gonna have to look this up but I'm very curious as to why they'd pick that date Uh, right. Well, oh no. Messing with the alarm would be too risky. Oh. The desk drawers are locked. All the desk drawers are locked. Mm -hmm. 
right? One down. The fact that you can pronounce it is kind of impressive. Will you just die? You there! Hold it! There we go! Rats! Rats in the walls! I hear them! <laughs> so I know there's a third one. God, that guy has a long routine. Ready to break out of this joint? 
Why should I trust you? What? In case you hadn't noticed it, fella, you're in a bit of a jam here. It could be a trap. Are you crazy? Stop bothering me. Uh, do I have to kill all the cops? Or do I have to kill all of the population of Innsmouth? go down this way? Apparently so! From the mess, it looks like something or someone was killed here recently. Why is he saying something? The grate's too heavy to lift with my bare hands. child why the rotting corpse of a rat I suppose it might come in useful <sighs> I think one dead rat is enough for anyone yeah Um, um, huh. Okay. Tasty ammo, something behind there. Don't know what that is, but. Oh, it's Tommy Gun Ammo! <laughs> okay, I've got the ammo, now give me the gun! There's a maximum. Oh, Jesus, wept. Why? I can't go that way. The door is bolted shut. Oh, thank God for that. I'm sure you're all glad that I finally found a save point. to do that I think no the heat from the flames is overpowering
stop where you are. It's gonna be one of those sessions. Come here! When I will die! Come here! When I will die! Oh! Yes! God, that feels so good! Time to save. Feels so good to finally kill those hicks. With extreme prejudice. Oh shit, I've only got one one buckshot left. Oh, 12 gauge. Whatever! Shell, even. Die. Shit. Noticed, we're both already in trouble. Idiot. Over there. 
Yes. All the desk drawers are locked. Why can't I just crowbar them open? A police whistle hmm. could prove useful. So I need the need to find more ammo or another gun. I think one dead rat is enough for anyone. That won't open. Already been that way. to break Brian out of the can first. <sighs> it won't budge. You've got a crowbar. Use it. That should be a viable option. I don't get why it isn't. And that's another one dead. And another one done, another one gone, and another one bat dust. They're gonna find you, Jack. And the order shows no mercy. I'm not going in there till I know I, I can trust them. you. I won't take the accursed oaths. That's not a good idea.
crazy but I don't think black marks happen when you hit something with a crowbar <sighs> a wanted poster for Brian Burnham Locked tight. I can't get inside. Locked tight. I can't get inside. It's just a trash can. It's blocked. I can't go that way. I don't even know what I'm meant to do now. I can't go that way. The doors are locked. Alright. door handle is missing. Okay. be a good point for a break. Uh, probably be back in about 10-15 minutes. Talk amongst yourselves. Uh, yeah. At least we're getting somewhere this time and we've racked up quite a big kill count which I've got no problem with. It's a bit of a pain that I've run out of ammo for the time being I need I need to get that Tommy gun that'll be fun but yeah back in a mo and we're back sorry that took longer than was expected waiting for dinner I've I seem to have killed all of them. Um, be dum, be dum, be dum, be dum.
Uh, come on. Okay, what was the point in that? It won't budge. I'll need to get it started before getting inside. I have to break Brian out of the can first. These posters are everywhere. Torments me now! Rainbows! The only bright thing you'll see in this entire game. Maybe later. And maybe later. All kinds of miscellaneous notices.
trust you. Yeah, you made that fucking clear. This is the rap sheet for Henry Garrison. No charge has been listed. Right, I need to find... It looks like I need to find some... Badly rusted. I'm not going anywhere till I know I can trust you. This cell looks like it suffered some kind of fire damage many years ago. Mm. Wish I had some bullets so I could shut that guy up. And eh, maybe later. Doctor says, What? Still people around? What the fuck? Hmm. Um. Okay, I'm gonna call it here. At least we're getting somewhere. Next time, I'll try to actually get the guy out of the fucking prison. But at least, at least we're getting somewhere. Uh, yeah. Sorry, it's such slow progression. This. 
<sighs> it is rather difficult. But anyway, I'm going to call it there because... Well, for one thing, I'm going to have my dinner, and for another, I'm starting to feel a bit motion sickness, which is kind of a danger that I run when playing first-person shooters. But anyway, uh, that's it for tonight. Probably do the next part um, next Saturday, seeing as I've got various things going on next Sunday, so... But it'll be same Eldritch Horror time, same Eldritch Horror channel, just a different day. Anyway, that's it for tonight. Good night, everyone. We are waiting for.